All right, so I wanted to show you guys this. I have a 2003 Volkswagen Beetle. Um, <clears throat> had a parasitic battery drain. It was very intermittent. Um, it didn't do it every night, um, but if you leave it parked overnight, um, sometimes it would last for three or four days, and then sometimes you would come out and the battery would be completely dead. So troubleshot it, troubleshot it, took it, had diagnostics run on it. It doesn't happen all the time, so that was part of the problem. We never could track it down. We even put the voltmeter on the battery, um, tested amperage when the car was shut down, um, powered off, and it wasn't drawing too many amps because it wasn't happening all the time. So what we did here <coughs> was installed a uh, cutoff switch. So I already installed it, so you can't get a very good picture of it, but this little key switch you can get at any AutoZone, um, O'Reilly's, Advanced Auto Parts. Um, they also have them at Harbor Freight, uh, so they're not too bad. Um, also, we got two cables. Um, they're, they're probably more for marine, uh, but they work. And then a post. So what we did was took the uh, negative off the battery um, which is right here, the negative terminal, <coughs> screwed this cable to it, okay, to the terminal, um, ran the cable up and around over here on the side of the hinge, okay, and underneath this little, um, it's more like a channel for uh, moisture for water. Um, so we ran it underneath and we drilled a hole uh, just large enough. I want to say it's um, it's not quite an inch, maybe it's three quarters uh, to put this in. And we pulled this rubber sill that runs the length of the car, pulled it off and slid this underneath. Now we. If you look under here, um, next to the windshield wiper, there's a pretty good little valley there because there is some thickness here and we just wrapped it with tape to make sure it was good and insulated. Um, and we put a screw through it just to keep it from turning. So what happens is, um, <clears throat> once you turn it, once you take this key out, um, that disconnects the circuit. Um, so you can try, you know, all, all you want, you're not going to get, you're not going to get power, you're not going to be able to start it, it's completely dead, okay? <clears throat> completely disconnects the, the power. However, um, and I'll show you how this looks with the, um, with the hood down, it, it's hardly noticeable the hood down you can barely see it so when you walk up to the car you just put your key in here turn the switch and now the key has to stay in there when you're you know when the car's ready to go and then all of a sudden you get power and the battery has stayed up now for almost a week um, doing that so um, definitely works and then when you get done just pull your key out and that's it uh, there's probably other places to put it um, we thought about putting it uh, down here um, but that just seemed like an easy easy place when you walk up to the car um, it doesn't interfere we, we, we turn on the wiper it doesn't interfere with the wiper um, at all so um, and it's a good spot that it fit right there so hopefully that works for some of you guys hopefully it helps you out thanks